children we will study lesson number 2 from ssc state board textbook of standard 3 so many kinds of animals here few pictures of the animals are given indian mynna parrot then deer snake and elephant you can easily understand these animals but there are special features of these few animals they are elephant is having bulky body and four legs with trunk then birds like indian mynna and parrot they are having two legs two wings and beak but deer if you see deer is having thin four legs and branched horns and snake is not having any legs then too snake does movement by crawling side to side that is called as serpentine movement some animals you have to name the animals who can fly in the sky sparrow crow pigeon you can name live in the water fish sea horse octopus black colored animals crow buffalo you can name colorful animals peacock kingfisher and butterfly you can say large size animal elephant and buffalo and tiny animals ants gnats and spider there are some more and answers also but these are just sample given where will you find us an eagle flies high in the sky a crow a cow walks on the ground fish swim in water it means fish we can see only in the water they can live cow buffalo goat all these animals are having four legs we can see them on the land walking and birds many birds we can see them flying in the sky with the help of wings we are of different colors the egret is white the crow is black the buffalo too is black but the peacock has many different colors you can see that egret is white color buffalo black but peacock you can see colorful it means there are variations in the color of the animal now another point it is about size size of animal is also different if you see horse it is big in size but squirrel and goat they are smaller than that the horse and the bullock are large in size the goat and the dog are medium size the mouse and the squirrel are small the earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still gnats and ants are very tiny in them they are too smaller than other which animal run very fast you know cheetah is the fast running animal and ostrich is the fast running bird which animals move very slowly tortoise moves very slowly elephant also moves very slowly a squirrel is a small animal it is nimble it climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly runs along its branches it goes from here to there this tree to that tree very easily because they are small animals the elephant's body is bulky its legs are very heavy the elephant cannot run at any great speed body is bulky legs are heavy so they cannot run very fast but if you see deer body is thin compared to elephant and uh, legs are also thin the deer has thin legs it runs very fast and this is a frog these are hind legs four legs the hind legs of of frog are long so it can easily hop jump and leap why do we keep cows because cows give us milk cows buffaloes and goats they give us milk name some other animals that are useful to us you can name cat cat eats rats so they are useful dog guards our house so they are useful why do we not like it if there are mice or bed bugs in our house bed bugs they suck our blood and mice they destroy our stored grains nibble the things so we don't want these animals inside our house you find us useful people love to keep animals the dog guards our house people like to keep cats too cows buffaloes goats give us milk some people keep hens we get meat milk and eggs from animals bullocks help with the farm work hitched to a cart they can draw heavy burdens too horses donkeys too are used to carry 
the loads or carry burdens. They are used for carrying the burdens. We look after all of the animals we keep. We feed them. We take care of them when they are ill. The animals we keep become very dear to us. They become very dear to us. They become very close to us. The animals which we keep with us. We the get crashes. Some animals enter our houses. Even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy sour grains besides knowing other things in the house. Sometimes we find bed bugs in our house. They suck our blood. Spiders make cobwebs in the house. Mosquitoes, flies, cats, cockroaches are a nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals too have an important place in the nature. If they are not uh, directly helping to us, then also they are part of our, our nature, our environment, so we should respect their presence. We can we have seen that animals around us can be grouped in different ways. We, we form these groups using our everyday observation. But however scientists they have classified animals, they look at more important characteristic of animals. Let us now see how they have done it. Now this is goat, dog and cow with calf. The young one of animals like cow, dog, dog goat and rat grow up on their mother's milk. They feed on their mother's milk. These animals have four legs. They have hair also on their body. They have external ears. So all these animals are classified into mammals. They give birth to young ones like themselves and their young ones they feed upon their mother's milk. Next it is birds. Birds have only two legs. They have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. The differences in the flying ability of different birds. There are differences. The eagle can soar high into the sky and stay in the air for long time. But the cock does not fly high and it comes down soon. If cock is able to fly then also it doesn't fly so much high also compared to eagle. Little bit distance they cover and they come on the ground. Now the, so they are all are called as bird. They are using their wings to fly. Two legs, wings and beak is the speciality. Now we live in water. The animals which live in water they are called as aquatic animal. There are many different kinds of fish. They live in the water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on the fish body. So fins, scales are the important thing and the body is covered with scales. Fish has gills also behind the its eyes. Fish use their gills to breathe in the water. They take oxygen which is dissolved in the water from this gill and then they uh, survive in the water only, not on the air, in the air. Camelians, next thing, uh, next power type is reptiles. They are called as reptiles. We creep and crowd. Chameleon, house lizard and snake are the animals that crowd. They have scales on their body. Chameleons and house lizard have four legs but their legs are very short. The snake does not have any legs at all. They don't have any legs. They keep on uh, doing movement from moving side to side. That is called as serpentine movement or gliding. We are called insects. Now next uh, classification is about insects. Butterflies have wings too. But we don't call them birds. They are insects. They are smaller than birds. Besides they have six legs. Animals which have six legs are called as insects. So butterflies are insects. Birds are having two legs and all insects are having six legs. So that is the main difference between birds and insects. Animals which have six legs are called insects. So, butterflies are insects. Mosquitoes, housefly and cockroaches are examples of insects. Now, do you know bats have wings but they don't have feathers on their body. Young one of bats feed on, the, on their mother's milk. Bats are not birds like crows, parrot, parrot and cock. They are included in the group of Cow, tiger, deer and mouse. 
because they feed their young one feed upon the their mother's milk and they give birth to the young one like themselves now this is the important part of the lesson what we have learned different animals are found in the air on the ground and in the water there are differences in the color shape sizes of the animals and also the ways they move we find some animals useful we keep such animals some animals are a nuisance for us scientists classify animals according to the certain important characteristics each animal is different and variety in the nature is the rule you should always remember that there is variety in the 